Hello, this is Julie from CutterCrafter.com. This is my latest project posted at Pazzles.net. You can find it under the Recent tab. If you'd like to get the cutting files, they're free for Pazzles Craft Room members. And there's a small price for those who would like to purchase it who are not Craft Room mem members. This is my explosion memory box tower looks like a regular box until you take that lid off and on the side panels of the hexagon each panel is a pocket and it'll hold a tag you could put pictures on both sides of the tags you or you could even put in a mini book on the tag that opens accordion style to add pictures you can put 14 pictures on each one of these mini albums so there's a lot of room for photos in this box. Be sure to put the tags in so that the ribbons are on the outer edge making it easier to pull the tags out when you want to display them. So in the outer larger explosion box there are six pockets then when you take off the second lid. There's another explosion layer with another six panels that also have pockets that you can put the tags inside or the smaller mini books. On the sides there are sentiment words that you can use. Many different ones are included in the file. The lid says the best is yet to come. And the journey begins on the side tabs. Inside of the explosion boxes are several smaller boxes. The sides don't explode. However, the lids to the inside boxes do explode to give you more room for even more pictures. So this is a pretty amazing gift for the recipient to open, especially if you've added pictures to them. So there's sentiments, more sentiments here on the side of this um, bigger box. Inside we have a smaller box that you could use for gifts. You can add more sentiments along the tags, the sides of the lids. And I put a lacy flower on the top of my lid. To see the rest of the layers, you pull out the inner box all the way up until the lids of the two inner boxes open and then you can see the pictures on the side panels of those. I also added some pictures inside the top layer of the boxes. These are hexagon mini album that holds wallet size pictures and you could put the hundred wallet size pictures in there if you wanted. And I also put pictures on the side of the medium box so you can see uh, some of those photos. So we have room for a lot of memories in this exploding box tower. To close it up, we lift up the side panels of the lid of the medium box and that allows the small box to slide inside of the medium box. Then you lift up the sides of the next layer and it slides into the larger in inside box. Now to close up the next to the bottom layer the explosion box we need to make sure we slide the cards back into their the tags back into their pockets. To make it easier you could squeeze the sides of the pocket and the pictures will slide right in there. Once you have all of the sides up then you can add the lid. It helps to have three hands to do this but you can do it with two hands if you're patient. Just put up a few of the sides and as you put the lid over them then 
you can tuck the other sides right onto the, into the lid. And then you'll be ready, after you push that down firmly, be ready to add the tags back into their pockets for the outside layer. Tuck them in. Again, if you have trouble getting them to slide in, you can squeeze the outer edges of those pockets. Hold up as many as you can with your hands and arms. Then put the lid over the as many as you can, and the remaining sides you can gently tuck under the lid. It takes a little patience sometimes to get them all inside. But once you do get them tucked in there, it's very firm. The insides of the box push outward to give a very firm outside edge that holds its shape. And the lid is nice and tight to hold everything in place while it's in its box form. So once you're all done tucking that in, you're ready to give it to somebody special for a very special gift. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. You can make it for any theme that you'd like. Thanks for watching.